Billy Bowen lifts, he strikes, he's a very good ball from Billy Bohan. Yes, it's gone over the bar, the first score of the game, a point for Port Leash by Billy Bohan. He goes in towards Tommy Lennon and uh, Matthew Kagan. A bit of argy bargy over there, but the ball broke in towards uh, Joe Keenan at full forward. Joe takes a shot, it's looking good. Yes, it's gone straight over the bar. John on the ground, out towards Mickey Dunphy and John Taylor. John Taylor has the speed and John picks it and sends a good ball down along the sideline. Out towards One, the centre of the field. It breaks behind Martin Brophy. But Martin Brophy knocks it down towards Cheddar Plunk and Cheddar collects and he sends Port Leash attacking. Fagoma dropping in towards Mickey Dunphy. Mickey takes a shot but it's saved. It's saved by Jimmy Harden and very well caught by Jimmy Harden. He hand passes out towards John Taylor on the far side but John misses it, breaks it, he cuts it on the ground out towards the centre of the field. Will be taken by Billy Bohan. Yes, it's gone straight over the bar. Takes the ball and sends the Harps attacking. In towards Eamon Spencer and Jimmy Harden. Jimmy Harden is hurled, he's held, he's hurled, he's held. It's a free out for Port Leash. Towards uh, Cheddar Plunkett and Liam Bergen along the ground. Towards Matty Keegan. Matty Keegan collects it. He takes a shot. It's looking... Yes, it's gone over the bar. Ball's booked out towards the centre of the field. It breaks towards Liam Bergen. Liam takes a shot at the goal. It's going, yes. Fair out of bar, another point for Port Leash and Liam Bergen. Stretching the Port Leash lead, eight points to two. Over to the far side. Towards uh, Mickey Bowen, Mickey Bowen collects, he takes his shot, it's gone straight over the bar, the first score of the second half. Dropping in towards the parallel grenade. See Jimmy Harden coming down, Jimmy makes a fine catch. He hand passes out towards uh, Martin Cashin, Martin Cashin gone back in towards the corner. Martin gets out his shortage clearance towards the centre of the field. Up he comes. A good ball from John out towards the corner. He's looking for his brother, Michael. It doesn't go, but it goes instead to Cheddar Plunkett. Cheddar Plunkett out towards Billy Vaughan. Billy takes a look at the goal. He takes a shot. Yes, it's gone over the bar. Another point. Another point for Port Leash and another point for Billy Vaughan. John Taylor to cut this line ball for Port Leash. Good ball from John Taylor towards Liam Bergen. Matty Keegan is tackled by Pat Spencer, but he gets it in towards Liam Bergen. Liam Bergen has it in front of the goal. He hand passes it in towards uh, Mickey Bowen. Mickey Bowen to shoot. He, he hand passes the goal. It's a goal for Port Leash. A great passing movement by the champions. And Mickey Bowen slams it to the net. Tommy Lennon, but it gets in a good clearance in towards uh, Pat Crisley. And Pat Crisley gone solo. He'd be fouled by no referee waves play on. And he gets it in towards the goal, not in towards uh, Morgan Kelly. But into Matty Keegan, it's a goal. A goal for Port Leash. A goal for Port Leash, scored by Matty Keegan. Out towards Liam Bergen, Liam Bergen. Out towards Pat Critchley, Pat Critchley. Takes a look at the goal, he takes a shot. Yes, it's gone straight over the bar. Locked down by Joe Kane, the referee is blowing his whistle. It's all over and Port Leash are the champions for 1984. Making it a double for the town today. Winning the minor football title. Easily defeating Greg Cullen in the replay. And in the replay of the senior hurling title. They have beaten the Harps. Two goals and 14 points, a one goal and seven. He might get this one across, he does, he sends a lovely ball across, it's grabbed by Mickey Bohan, Mickey gets up, he got his half cleared out by, by Pat Rowan, no tears down, but it comes back to the Port Leash man again, it's a beautiful time, the Port Leash man picking up that ball as it came his way, it's the umbrellas has gone down and everyone hoping it'll stay fine for the next hour or so, with Sean Delaney, the Port Leash man, Sean cooking is a very long one towards midfield, gets it to the centre back, Pat Rowan, Pat delivers a great clearance down for the Port Leash man. Pat Hoban and Pat Critchley both going for the ball and Mickey Drennan. Mickey sending it away down the field but back come the Port Leash man. 
He's racing away up and decided for Coach East. The ball cut off there, and the man, the man take, taking it out there now is, the, is Andy Dodd. Andy sending it away down at the far side of the field. The man trying to grab it up there is Greg Norton. Greg might can get it up. It's the Port Leash man, John Taylor, trying to get it up. He won't get it up. He's half there down again. Port Leash man still under pressure. The man going to grab it for Port Leash is uh, Sean Berrigan. Sean getting it up in the far side of the field. It is one ad man, Paddy Berrigan, putting up his hand, but he doesn't get it. Macho Keegan racing in. Macho not getting it. He sends it across there towards the... Paul Berrigan and the man getting it is Billy Bowman and Billy strikes it and Billy makes no mistake this time. The ball dropping down, John Taylor, John playing well in the half-back line, sending it away up, the man going to get it is Paddy Berrigan, he mightn't get it as Matthew Keegan, Maxson strikes it in towards Cleary, Cleary might nip it in, and he does, Pat Cleary! I said he might get a goal and he does, he let that one drop in and Pat the great man on the ground, he tapped it in, hit it back in the net. The field for Cleary again, Cleary a Roman hurler now, going out, going out and getting the ball, he's thrown out Paddy again, he's the goal getter a moment ago, he tries that one very, very high, dropping down towards Magic Keegan and Tootlin out there, with the man coming, it's a shot and it's a goal! The Port Leash man came racing through the centre forward, Paul Berrigan, he crashes the ball to the back. This one, Billy picking it up very well, he might try to find, he doesn't, he tries to pass towards Cleary, Cleary picks it well, he's been surrounded by Gig, he sights up a joyful shot from Cleary! Is inside the 65 and Billy bends lifts and strikes. He sends it very high and it's gone straight, straight between the poles. Very seldom Billy Bohan misses like that. That one's gone over and another score for Billy Bohan. Towards, towards Andy Dunn. Andy mightn't get it. A man getting it is Pat Pitchley. Pat getting it up at the far side of the towards Noel Rowe. Or Mickey Bowen, Mickey grabbing it up and Mickey racing up on the far side of the field, a small man but he's playing quite well, he sends that lovely pass in for Paul Berrigan, a chance for Paul, he tries it, and takes his chance of a goal. Billy bending, lifting and striking and Billy sending it high and Billy sending it straight over the left, the score together in the first half and Pat picking that one beautiful and the one he gets inside his man, he might try it at the moment as Tim strikes that one, it's gone away with Chairman Kung, or Cyril dropping that one for the Port Leashman and sending it away that one to be a short match. Keegan. Keegan racing through for the poor Leishman, he's got a good 30 minutes, he'll try the shot himself, he tries it high and he tries the fines and he gets it. He's trying to get it up there is Matthew Keegan, the Billy Bohan, Billy sends it away down on the far side to Cleary, Cleary shot and it's gone over the bar and no concussion and Martin roaming out, he sends it across to Billy Bohan, Billy sides up his man well, he sends it across to Paul Berry, Paul will probably try the shot himself, Paul strikes it high and Paul strikes it straight over the bar. And they were really the killing blows to the lads chances here today. The referee blowing, it's all over. Port Leash have won it, and the jump with Chai now is to beat their near neighbours tonight. But there was a solid defence with the Port Leash men. Of Berrigan, Bowman and Coven, and of course, Sir Duggan was superb at centre-back, and John Taylor as well, played very well. As I said, Critchley and Plunkett were the dominant force at midfield, and then, as I said, Billy Bowen on freeze and Pat Cleary, Martin Cashin and Magic Keegan. They were really causing havoc to the to that full back line. And that was a real a real killing blow to Tanad with those goals were coming in the first time.